First thing in the thermal take for CES 2015, the most important thing we're showing right now is our new Core X series. Last year at CES, we showed you the Core V71, and we started a, basically a whole revolution with our cases, starting with the V series. Now with the X, you can see it's a cubicle chassis, so therefore it's very large, it has tons of space for fitment. This is the Core X9, it's a full ATX chassis. So this allows four-way SLI video cards, or whatever you want to do for a crossfire or just single card you can build it however you want it massive liquid cooling air cooling you've got tons of options for fan and radiator mounting then you look over here as you can see one really cool feature is these can stack they can actually be screwed together so that they become a solid single unit and then you can actually build like if you go ahead and uh, take a look around over here we have a totally separate liquid cooling loop just for the gpus up top and then the CPU co liquid cooling loop down at the bottom. So the blue one's your CPU loop down at the bottom, the red one's a GPU one. So basically you can build this massive scalable cooling solution, or you can build a bunch of hard drives up here, or even two systems on top of each other. The limit really is your imagination with the new Core X series. And now let's take a look at the next size down. The next size down would be your Core X2. This is micro ATX. So you're talking two graphics cards, a little bit smaller on the radiator fitment, but overall, you're, you still have some really cool compatibility, lots of drive fitment and different uh, liquid cooling options available. And then you have one thing we'll sneak peek you here is you can see that uh, custom water block on the graphics card. That's something we're going to be showing you here shortly. But that's a little uh, direction we're heading from Thermal Take. So some things we'll be showing you here are uh, kind of some future direction we've got going. And once again, with the Core X2, this one's stackable as well. So you can stack two, three, whatever you need on top of each other to make the system what you want. Obviously, one will fully support most what anyone would need, but if you want to just go nuts, you can go as far as you want. Now, we do have one even smaller for your mini ITX. So let's go take a look at Core X1. And as you can see, Core X1 stacks as well. But Core X1, once again, you, you know, you give a little because it's a smaller case. So what you have to fit for radiators, like let's say you want to run a 480 radiator, fine. Stack two cases together, you got a big 480 up front, and you can still fit a full-size graphics card. You can fit a cylinder reservoir on top. You could fit a 360 radiator extra. You pretty much, once again, you're, the limit is your imagination. As far as you want to go, you can do it. Then you have a single liquid-cooled one over here. Just to show you, you have a 360 radiator, and you even have a 180 millimeter radiator in the front on this guy. Single graphics card and CPU, more than enough cooling capacity, but we have the option so that if you want to go extreme overkill, that's up to you, but you can do it. We're not going to limit you. You're going to limit yourself as to whatever components you want to fit.